this is going to be 15 tips on how to become a streamer, YouTuber, or just a basic content creator. Things that I've learned and things that I am learning, I'm going to show you guys and we're going to go through it. We're going to go through OBS. We're going to go through Twitch. We are going to go through Instagram, TikTok. We're going to show you guys how to set all of this stuff up. We're going to talk about content creation in of itself. We're going to be talking about how to edit videos, edit videos for free so you don't have to pay for things like Adobe Premiere, things like that. There's other useful sources that you can get these things for free. We're going to talk about how to get your clips, things that you can do for free using AI in today's society. These are things that content creators are not showing people. And these are things that I have learned the hard way and things that I have paid for and made mistakes on. And I want to show you guys so that you guys can make content. And because who knows, you guys might be the next PewDiePie, the next Markiplier, the next Jacksepticeye. I know I'm not, but you know, who knows? We could all get there one day. And sometimes this helpful advice just seems to help people out. So I'm going to make this a 15 part series. We're going to go over everything that starts from the basics. Um, today's is just going to be an introduction to starting the series. So basically I want to take you guys down the line on how to make a Twitch account, right? You want to set up a Twitch account. You want to make a banner. You want to make an about section. You want to make a profile. You want that stuff because that stuff is the things that catches people's attention. They're like, oh, he's an active Twitch content. And that's what draws them back in. That was the mistake I made when I first started a year and a half ago. And since I have done them recently, it has increased my following count. Um, YouTube, how to set up your YouTube profile so it's your newest videos. How to use YouTube Shorts because that is the best thing for you is YouTube Shorts. Literally is the best thing for your account. My account barely gets anything on the main content videos, right? Because long form content goes based on video footage coverage, right? So depending on how long somebody stays in that video and watches that video. So if I have a 50 minute gameplay and somebody only sticks around for three minutes of that gameplay, right? It knocks me negatively. But if I post YouTube shorts, right? And somebody stays for the whole minute of that YouTube short and I get a bunch of likes and thumbs up, I get better drive for my bigger videos to get pushed out to the people that actually like watching long form content because that's what you want. You want to be pushed out. Um, same thing with Instagram. Instagram Reels, it's super hard to get a hit on Instagram Reels. There was things that I have learned that will help you guys to do Instagram Reels and set that stuff up. OBS. OBS is a free software, right? It is the best thing that you can use. Streamlabs is okay but it's more of a paid program than obs is obs does not require any paid platforms and it is hard to learn it is very hard to learn it took me a year and a half to learn everything on obs but i have the key to the recipe and i'm going to show you guys the step by step on exactly how to set up obs and that's where we're going to go from there and then we're also going to go over tiktok we're going to go over how to do short form content how to push it out into tiktok and the mistakes to not make in TikTok. I have made some dramatic mistakes on my TikTok platform that has hit me negatively in my account. And I am now recovering back from that and being pushed out into the TikTok uh, form. We will show you those steps and I will show you guys what to look out for, what not to do, and what to do. Because there's a lot of people out there that tell you, hey, this is how you should do it. And when you listen to these people, it does not help you. It helps you negatively. It only helps those people because they get paid to tell you those things. Sadly, that's how we all find out things. Is we learn the hard way, and I'm here to help you guys not make that mistake. And then as far as editing, free platforms out there that you can do for editing. So I had first thought that, hey, I'm going to buy Adobe Premiere. I'm going to pay for the monthly subscription. It's going to be amazing. If you are just getting into making content, do not pay for Adobe. Do not pay for DaVinci Resolve. Do not pay for these platforms because the best tool you guys can use is CapCut. CapCut is completely free. You guys do not need all of these crazy effects, all these crazy edits, all these crazy audios. You can literally go on MP3 free download, get free downloads for your audio, sync them, put them in a separate file on your tab, right? Then you can also go in and get free like um, text messages and customize them based on how you like them font wise, 
picture wise. And to be honest with you, as long as your content is funny and it's engaging, people will come. People will watch it. You don't have to have the craziest edit or the craziest stuff. What's funny is, is that I used to actually try super hard with my edits before. And now I just pump out like small little like jump cut edits and I get more traction on those than I did back in the day on my other stuff. And my other stuff, I would spend two hours editing it. I spend at least five, six minutes editing stuff now. So that's something that we should all take into account. Now, yes, things that do get pushed out for more edits do help you in the long run because Yes, as you get to be a bigger content creator, people do want to see funny little montages and edits, but you don't really need to do that right now. We're just learning from the basics. We're trying to build our platform, build our community, and then go from there. So these are the things that I'm going to show you guys, what we're going to walk through. So this is just the introduction. I just wanted to introduce you guys to me. My name is Panda Tai, and hopefully I can take you guys on this journey with me. But we're going to start with OBS, and we're going to learn how to set up OBS. That's going to be our first one. And then we will move down the line on everything else that needs to fall into place. So hopefully you guys stick around for this series. If you guys want to see other things during this series, like I said, it's going to be a 15 part, but I can do extras if you guys want to see more. So just put it in the comment section what you guys want to see, and I will catch you guys around next time. Peace.